Hi there, welcome to the RPS project. Today I'm going to be looking at the CD4081, that's uh, this little thing on here, little IC chip, doesn't look like much because it is quite a little thing. It's a quad two input AND gate, so there you go, it's an AND gate, what more do I need to say about that? Um, well, how does it work I suppose? So. Um, I suppose I'm going to start off by um, having a look on the whiteboard and a quick diagram of what this little IC is and then we'll um, power this up and um, see how it works. Okay, so I've got the basic diagram on the whiteboard. This is the sort of, I don't know, schematic sort of outlay type of thing, you know. Um, as you can see it on the data sheet, um, gives you the sort of outline of what the setup is basically we've got four gates um, and they are well the numbering is that we've got pin 1, pin 7, pin 8, pin 14. Now pin 7 is the ground and pin 14 is my plus volts VDD or whatever it might be. Um, and you can go from, I think it's up to 24 volts on the um, on the supply, 0 to 24, but I mean obviously it's got a, a level that works. Um, and I'm probably going to use something like 9 volts on there. Um, and uh, layout is very basic. You've got 4 with the uh, labelling being a bit odd in that A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, is the um, are the input, and then we have the numbering or the the alpha vertical um, labelling for the output of J, K, L, and M. No I, of course, it's a bit confusing. They never use I for any anything. I don't really use unless you um unless you've got one of those um, smart fancy devices that you can afford that um, the rest of us just can't. There you go. I suppose I ought to have a look at the actual circuit that I'm going to be uh, using rather than just this layout design. So I will get the um, circuit up on here and we can see what I'm actually going to be doing. So here we have the actual circuit that I'm going to be using. It's the basic setup, very simple. We're just going to use one of the gates from that, um, from that IC that has got four on. We only need one in this instance. Um, doesn't matter which one, whichever one you fancy. I'm using 9 volts, right, so I've got 9 volt supply coming into my main circuit. I'm also using 9 volts supply the um, the chip as well, so nice and simple, just keep it nice and easy. 9 volts all round, ground. Now, to get an input on these, um, on the inputs, I need it to have a certain voltage, a certain level, depending upon the actual voltage supply and as I'm putting in 9 volts I think my logic level is something like a low is considered to be about one and a half volts so any voltage below that will act as a low on here supposedly um, and any voltage that is above 3 or about 3.3 is considered to be a high so actually you need to make sure your voltage levels go up and down correctly, otherwise this thing tends to have a bit of a funny, which is why I've put these in here. These are just to help tie the inputs to ground. Now, resistor and capacitor, I've used about 100 nanofarad capacitor, this little ceramic disc, and say, I know, 500k ohm or one meg ohm resistor. That way this isn't sort of floating around wondering what to do and this resistor divider to get my voltage input I'm going to be putting about 5 volts on these that gets me above that 3.3 voltage um, so what have I got about 800 ohm and a 1k that resistor divider gets me my logic level a couple of switches and there you go should all work well we'll find out won't we just a basic LED on the output because these things don't give out 
huge amount of current so I don't, don't have to protect that at all just um, plug it in and see what happens so yeah that's the circuit I'm going to be using so let's see how it works okay so here we have it on the breadboard uh, I see a um, couple of switches resistor divider um, little setup here so that uh, we stabilize the output and a power supply so if I turn it on very simply if I press one of these buttons nothing happens if I press the other button nothing happens but if I press this one and then come with my big finger and press this one it comes on same goes the other way if I press this one first and then this one so it is literally that that and that one two both um, inputs have to be on have to have a voltage for it to come on remove just one of the inputs and it will go off simple as that that and that it's an AND gate after all so that's literally what it does two inputs one output both need to be on to give me an output which is brilliant exactly what I want it to do really CD4018 4081 should I say AND gate so there you have it the uh, CD4081 quad to input AND gate it's a simple little device it's um simple part of electronics really isn't it I mean it's uh, basic though because all, all computers they use logic they use logic level so if you didn't have logic um, where would we be no computers I suppose or scratching around in the dark I suppose maybe but yeah simple device very simple part it um, you get four of them four AND gates in one little package which makes it cost effective and economical I suppose um, yeah very simple Brilliant. What more can I say about it? Anyway, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Subscribe and all comments are welcome. See you next time.